There's a lot of hmms in this episode. A lot of me questioning what I'm doing. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Come here, anyway. Bye bye. What? You can't sneak up on. No, 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 no. What a beautiful sunrise. Welcome back to Minecraft, everybody. I'm gonna be finishing off my base. As a I might actually be building this XP farm. In the last episode, we built that cobblestone generator mm -hmm. and uh, this little platform that is gonna become my uh, new base. I wonder if anyone else has uh, come up with a cobblestone generator this efficient. Probably has. I mean, the game has been around for over a decade now. Oh, I accidentally picked up one. Anyway. He's that back! What? Did you take one of my cobblestone? Uh, I think so, yes. He's that back. What does that mean? <laughs> He's that back? What? He's that back! It's Scottish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only a single piece. You're making like hundreds of cobblestone a minute. Yeah, well, I need, I need three stacks. I need three full stacks and then I'm ready to go, so. I'm not taking any chances. All right. I should maybe All get right. a bit more luck. So, the plan. There is no plan for this base. I've just sort of been going with whatever ends up being built. I originally was thinking of a medieval kind of base, but this is looking very modern. There are hints of medieval architecture. Or maybe it's it's a, kind of like a weird mix of the two. Especially with the arches down here. That's... Um, I mean, I'm no expert in architecture, but I don't think archways are very modern. So it's sort of a, a mix of the two. It's a whatever, and it looks fine. I will also be expanding the path. Uh, yeah, the cobblestone generator is kind of right in the way of where the path is going to end up going to. Well, we can get rid of it at some point. It's just, it's more just a functional thing right now. This place is looking really nice. Got all the builds coming along. So anyway. I was really struggling with this, I think. Is it? I'm not really noticing. It's, just, it's really glitchy. Oh. Well, it's it's nowhere near as bad as what Bedrock Edition was like. Especially on the PS4. Yeah, that works. You spin me right round, baby, right round. That's what's going through my head right now. <laughs> Come here, anyway. Bye bye. What? Where, where'd you... Hey! Can't sneak up on No 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 no. I don't want to talk about it. We're getting blue. Keeps teleporting away. Uh, I just lost 22 experience levels as well. I should have used that before I picked a fight with an Enderman. Where are you, you coward? Where's it gone? Is it inside your base? Oh yeah, I can hear it. Oh no, it's, it's on my platform. Hey, you don't get to walk around here. Ender Pearl, nice. Oh, please stop screaming at like 6,000 decibels. I definitely need to uh, complete this look. There we go. Nice. I like the way the leaves are like visible on the outside. Okay, where do we want this bloody mob farm then? Um, over there, like above, like over the ocean. And uh, pretty high up as well. Maybe like put it also like towards the jungle so that our view isn't ruined. But not too close to the jungle, otherwise there'll be enemies spawning in the jungle when we're trying to be at the mob farm. How much wood have you got? Because I kind of want to have ladders so I can get up and down there if I need. Unfortunately, I need all the wood I have right now. Wood. I'm going to check them. No, oh, yeah, I have, another, I have another stack of spruce logs, but I'm probably going to need those. How can I fix up my pickaxe? Do I need to use an anvil? Yeah, I need either, more diamonds. either more diamonds or another diamond pickaxe. Yeah. I don't know why I still have an iron pickaxe in here. I don't really need that in here anymore. How many diamonds am I going to need? Um, depends how broken it is. It's hella broken. Then probably three, which means you might as well just make another pickaxe and enchant it and then uh, combine it with your pre-existing one. It. If it's like efficiency two plus efficiency two, it'll go up to efficiency three. But if it's efficiency, efficiency two and efficiency one, it won't do anything. Good morning, Frederick. Don't worry, we, we, we haven't forgotten about you, Frederick. We are going to find a way to save you eventually. That wheat farm looks so satisfying. Look at it. It's almost completely grown. The what? The wheat farm. Look at it. It's so satisfying when it's almost completely uh, grown. Yeah. Also really daunting. 
daunting. It's like now I've got to go and, and farm all of that oh. and then put it all back. Right. Oh. I can make some more arrows. Nice. I will do that. Wait. Is, is this not how you make arrows? Does it need to be a... Wait. Wait a minute. What am I, am I? Am I doing something wrong here? Oh. All right. Jump back to the base. I'm gonna move my crafting table to the base. All right. What I'm gonna need now is glass. I need some glass. Can you make me some glass? I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough glass for what I need it for. And sand. Okay. That is not even enough for what I need it for. Oh, I just got a cool idea. What if we built a lighthouse on this island over here? Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Like on this... uh, isn't that a bit of a meme? And uh, I used to watch Syndicate, and that was a big meme of his, that he couldn't what? make lighthouses in Minecraft. Couldn't like, make lighthouses? He tried to make a lighthouse in, in like every single Minecraft series he ever made, and like people would always make fun of him for making a lighthouse. I mean, I think I, I made a pretty good lighthouse in a creative world once. I guess, uh, yeah. I guess you guys will decide that when, uh, when I build the lighthouse in this world. But for now, I have enough sand. Because I thought the first thing is, like, maybe I could build, like, some funny little, like, mini sand castle or tower over here. But I was like, no, lighthouse. Into the furnaces you go. There's just a tree on the side of my house. <laughs> Might leave it there. Sort of adds to the natural look of this, like, little balcony I've got going on here. The whole thing just looks pretty nice. And it's certainly different to a lot of my other bases I built. Because I built, like, I just built, like, a... Not that it was bad, but it was, it was like, just a, a generic, like, medieval house. It was well designed, but there wasn't anything, I don't know, different about it. But this, I just sort of just, I, I just sort of just went random. And it's uh, turning out pretty nice. Oh, yeah, I gotta just waiting for the sand. Been enough time yet. Do I have some sand to work with? Glass to work with. Alright, I believe I do. So I'm gonna make some of this into panes. I'm not entirely sure what the windows are gonna look like yet. I don't want the entire thing to just be glass, because I feel like that might be overdoing it. So I'm not actually quite sure where I want to go with the next level of this design. Perhaps part of it should be open plan. I mean, there's already, like, the front deck that doesn't even have, like, a door. It's just, like, you walk right in. I assume I'm going to see a giant cobblestone structure shoot into the sky soon. Very possibly. There are so many possibilities for this world. It's quite a nice place that we have. We have a lot of different places to build in. Like, there's an island, there's another island, there's a mountain, there's a jungle, there's an ocean. The possibilities are only limited by our own imagination and creativity. I'm planning on building like the bedroom to be like another floor on top of the main floor because it just doesn't seem like a bedroom it seems more like a grand like hallway or entrance just big room big main room not a bedroom yeah, i still have no idea what i want to do in terms of windows really wish i had a silk touch pickaxe so i could experiment without having to worry about constantly breaking glass See what that looks like from the outside. Um, I mean, it doesn't quite fit with the modern style, but I think I'm constantly like going between two different styles, and it. it's not like strictly modern, so it might work. Hmm. There's a lot of hmms in this in this episode. A lot of me questioning what I'm doing because I have no idea what I'm doing. I did it again. <laughs> Is there anything I could do on the outside? Though? Oh, wait, hold on. What if I did this? Yes. 
I'm out of stairs. <laughs> but yes, that could work. Okay, now that... Actually, maybe that could... No, maybe that could... Uh, no. Maybe that could... Maybe, maybe that, that could know. Maybe that could... <sighs> maybe that... Ah, okay. It was working on the other side, but it's not going on this side for some reason. You are being annoying. Why? Why are you doing this to me? This is so boring. What? Dismantling this tower. It was all the way up and building out, and then I had to dismantle it all. Move. <laughs>
That is not how you make smooth stone slabs. Okay, I don't know where to put the stairs. Maybe I should put them here. Oh no, that's supposed to be a window though. Uh... And there we go. That is the staircase complete. Certainly has a modernish feel to it. And this will be the bedroom. All right, that is looking pretty good. The mob farm is starting to take shape over there. Well, that's a lot more work to do. as much shape as it's going to take anyway. It's not the most visually interesting of structures, of course. What am I doing with the flint and steel, you might ask? Don't worry about it. So many cows. It's ridiculous. We're going to have to upgrade the pen again. We're going to head back to base, which uh, still doesn't have a bedroom. Because I seem to have got distracted from my primary objective of finishing my base due to the overpopulation of the cows. But, uh, do you need any steak? Uh, me? Yeah, do you need any steak? Because I got, like, over a stack from all those cows. I do. I'm right behind you. Hmm? Never mind. You already left. Right now? No, hold on to it for me. I'm busy. Alright. Uh... Enchanting steak. Why'd you keep doing that? Enchanting station. You can be upgraded now. Paper. Let's make some books. Get some more paper. Sugarcane. Oh, cool trap doors. Speaking of sugarcane. Oh, I never made this stack of trap doors. Oof. Oh, paper. Paper. A lot of wood for that as paper. well. Oh. Paper. There we go. That is a lot of paper. Now to boop and boop. There we go. That is 45 books. That is a decent amount. However, what I don't have a decent amount of is wood. I'm going to grab every wood type I have, except for the spruce. And I'm going to just make as many bookshelves as I can. Or maybe I use a bit of spruce. At like this rate, we might get a fully in, fully maxed out enchanting station in this episode. Boom. 14 bookshelves. I believe that that must be enough to get a maxed out enchanting station. I need to move that. Boom. Wait, hold on. Do I really want to complete the enchanting table here? Because, I mean, we lose the wood unless we have silk touch. Eh, whatever. Not like we don't know where we can get loads of wood. Let's max this thing out. 13, 14, and 15. Yeah, I know, this is a weird enchanting setup. Actually, I mean, whatever. Now we should get full level 30 enchants. Well, if we have level 30, that is. Not that we need any more bookshelves at this point, because we have a fully maxed out. Well, unless we want to use them for decoration, of course. Alright, let's get this place finished up. Just one more room. That's the bedroom. I suppose at first glance, it kind of looks like a jungle tree. So it doesn't actually doesn't actually stick out too badly. Maybe put some like moss over it, make it look like some sort of jungle structure or jungle tree. Well, not moss, like vines. Ah, I need more smooth stone. You no, know, I think I should set up one of those things that my friend made at some point. A super smelter. Which is some sort of ridiculous contraption that smelts things at insanely fast speeds by having a bunch of furnaces go through some sort of conveyor belt like system. And everything's fed into it's like several furnaces at once. No, oh, am I out of cobblestone as well? Okay, well, to the cobblestone generator. Alright, a stack and 16. Probably gonna need a bit more than that, considering the amount of smooth stone I'm gonna be using for the roof. Man, my pickaxe is almost broken. I just realized. Good thing we got a mob farm in the works. I might suggest lighting up some of the jungle around the mob yeah, farm. I'm literally kind of doing that already. Nah. The video also suggests uh, lighting up any caves that are underneath it. Yeah, I was going to say caves, yeah. So just check underground a little bit as well. Wait, I need to... Uh... No, you know what? I'm going to put some furnaces inside this place because I need to start moving in anyway. All right, get four furnaces. Just lay them along here. Yeah, this seems like a kitchen-y type area, so... All right, I need coal. All right, I'm gonna fill up you. You. Wait. No, I can put 16 in each. I am... I am not math today. I am not sleep. I am 16 of each. 
What? Is that a reference that I don't get? No, you just said 16 of each, and it sounded like a Russian name. Oh. <laughs> 16 what? of each. What? Okay, this part isn't that interesting. Let's put some depth to this. Ooh. Uh, it's kind of... Yeah. Actually, yeah. Ooh. Uh, actually, that works better. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. That looks nice. It's kind of bare bones on the outside, though. Let me add some more of that. Good old wall depth. Uh, wait, hold on. What if I do this? It's literally just the same thing as I did before. Oop, does that mess up the inside, though? Yeah, that messes up the inside. Dang. Okay, never mind. What could I do instead, then? Oh, wait, hold on. I could just put another beam here. I look a bit odd, though. Is the point of the of them dropping like lower their health to nearly dead and then you one one shot them? Is that the whole point? Uh-huh. Basically, yeah. I'm actually pretty proud of this place. It's got its quirks. Uh, some parts look a little strange, but uh, for the most part, I like the way this place has turned out. It looks really cozy, especially up here. Like This is a nice little bedroom area. A little lamp. There we go. The bed will go right here. Too bad. The railing looks a bit odd though. Might change that. I also still got to put a border around the top part of the house, which I will probably do with smithstone slabs. But I might do it between episodes, or I might do it at the beginning of the next episode. Not entirely sure yet. But until then, see you all in the next one.